Hey, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Yeah, and I do hope you lot are doing well and welcome back to the channel, Football Therapy, to this video, which is a Chelsea news video where I want to be talking about one subject in particular, and that is the recent news that surfaced in Spain, published by Marca, that Willian has agreed a deal to join Barcelona in the summer on a free, obviously with six months left on his contract, he's allowed to know... he's allowed to negotiate with other clubs such as the likes of Barcelona who have been courting the Brazilian for a long long time now and apparently he's agreed a deal to go to Spain I kind of get it he gets a big move to Barcelona and makes loads of sense for him for so many reasons and we're gonna get into that in today's video and what that might mean and just the general talking points around this I guess but before we do get into today's content I want to request that you there subscribe to football therapy if you've not yet done so please do hit the bell notifications icon like the video and why not follow me on Instagram links up on the screen all right let's get into it so Willian 31 years old going on 32 is really important in Frank Lampard's eyes to this current Chelsea side. Although Willian frustrates many in the Chelsea fan base because they see so much talent and potential often with very little offensive output he is an incredibly important player to Frank Lampard. His work rate, his football intelligence is very very good. He knows when to press, he tracks back very very well and is a very good uh, winger defensively and that's incredibly important in the Premier League and the guy in his 30s is just energy minute 1 to minute 90 is so so impressive I'm saying that because I'm 30 years old I know I'm not a professional athlete but I just marvel at guys my age or older that can just keep running anyways let's talk about the link in just a moment but before that Let's talk about the game today. Of course, I've done a match review of Chelsea's 2-2 draw of Leicester away in the Premier League. If you've not seen it, I urge you to go and watch it. But Willian started on the bench. Now, I doubt there's any controversy here, but it was a big, big shock for Pedro to start in such an important game. I think Pedro will get rotational minutes now, but it is an interesting one. <laughs> because this news like sort of broke, like, oh yeah, Willian to leave at the end of the season. Frank Lampard desperately wants him to re-sign. I thought, oh, is there a bit of controversy there? Like he's benched him because he refuses to continue on with Chelsea. Who knows? Obviously he came off the bench and I doubt there's any lack of professionalism from either the player or the Chelsea coach Frank Lampard. But it was a bit of a weird one, a coincidence for that news to break and for him not to be starting. And it just seemed a bit weird. But anyway, I'm not gonna speculate any further than that. So let's get some facts of the situation here. So, like I said, Spanish outlet Marca have published an article, a story, some information saying Willian has indeed agreed to join the Catalan Giants this summer at the end of this season. Willian's, of course, 31 years old, going on 32. So, Frank Lampard has urged Chelsea Football Club to extend this contract. Chelsea, I think, or almost definitely, will only be offering Willian an extra 12 month extension because that's really what they do. Maybe they offered him an 18 month extension or something, an 18 month contract from now with an extended pay rise or something. I think he's on 110 grand a week or something. I think less than Callum months of the Doy actually, which is pretty nuts when you think about it. He probably wants more money, but he probably wants like two or three years contract. Barcelona will give him that. They will give him probably two years, three years contract, which is nuts and it, not nuts because maybe he can play for a while, but it, I wouldn't want Chelsea to give Willian a three year contract at his age, even though he's performing really well now, maybe one or two years and sell him after a year because the Premier League is very, very demanding. I know La Liga is different, but Barcelona have wanted him for ages. Um, I know he speaks Portuguese, he might speak a bit of Spanish or certainly Portuguese and Spanish is quite close. so. You know, language barrier might not be an issue. He gets to play for Barcelona, so he's in for a shout with La Liga, the Champions League, for the seasons he plays it. He gets to play with Lionel Messi, probably starts as well. I mean, you can see why it's, why it's appealing for Willian. Caveat as well, obviously Eden Hazard's gone to Real Madrid. There will be El Clasicos with Eden Hazard playing for Real Madrid and Willian playing for Barcelona. Just let that sink in for a moment. That's, I mean, it would be good to see, but it would just feel weird, man. It would feel weird 
Kind of cool though, I mean they're both getting on now and Chelsea need to move on and develop something new in terms of a project. It's weird when Barcelona go in for older players because it's not really sorting out a long term problem getting Willian who's probably going to be like 32 or something by then by the time he joins Barcelona. Right so what else have we got here? Willian's representatives have met with the Barcelona bosses several times. We know that Barcelona have been courting Willian for such a long time. Willian himself's come out and said yes they've made contact, the strongest contact constant contact has been from Barcelona. Willian is represented by an agency called Sport Invest, great name, who also work with Brazilian teammate Philippe Coutinho of Barcelona as well, obviously on loan at um, Bayern Munich at the moment. So Barcelona kept bidding and it was only in 2018 they bid 50 million pounds, 50 million. People were saying it would go north of 50 million as well. And he's about to go on a free. I know he's been a good player for Chelsea, but you do feel somewhere along the way Chelsea missed a few tens of millions. Right, before we talk about the ramifications and what it would mean with Willian moving on and actually Pedro as well, because both of them have six months left on, this con on their contracts and it looks like neither of them are getting extensions. So what does this mean? Well. Willian wants to stay at Chelsea, right? I think he's like, I think he's kind of like, yeah, Barcelona is wicked. I don't think he's quite at the Ed and Hazard stage where Hazard loved Chelsea and probably thought it was okay to stay at Chelsea, but it was Hazard's dream to always go to Real Madrid. I don't think it's Willian's dream to always go to Real Madrid. Sorry, Barcelona, I mean. He's probably looking at Barcelona and going, wow, Messi, La Liga, you know, Frankie Dion, Antoine Griezmann. You know, the names roll off the tongue, these sort of superstars he could be playing with. But Willian has a business, a restaurant in London. He loves living in London. His two little girls, his family's all in London growing up. And he loves Chelsea as well, despite what people might think of Willian and get frustrated with him. He does genuinely love the club. So if you probably said to him, what would you want in an ideal world? He'd say a three year contract at Chelsea for, with 200k a week, please. Do you know what I mean? That's probably what he'd say. But if he said no, you can't have that, he'd go, no problem, I'm going to Barcelona to play with Messi for three years and get loads of money, so meh, I'll, I'll get over it, do you know what I mean? So, it's a difficult one. I genuinely can't see this working out for Chelsea in terms of, because in an ideal world, no matter what you think about a Chelsea rebuild, in an ideal world, you, Willian would sign a 12-month extension. He just would. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So what does that mean for Chelsea? Well, it does mean both Pedro and Willian will go. So in the space of 12 months, Eden Hazard, Willian and Pedro, the front three with the false nine sometimes, have all gone. The you know, Conte, Sarri, they played those guys in the front three often and they would have all been gone. A new dawn at Chelsea. The world turns, people get old and stuff changes. Profound, huh? <laughs> so Chelsea did not spend any money this transfer window. I'm sure you have noticed. <laughs> summer, summer comes. Well, yeah, see, it's fr Chelsea will be frustrated. Maybe not losing Pedro on a free so much because he's even older than Willian. But when 50 million pounds was floating around at points for Willian, they might feel a little bit frustrated that he left for on a free. But at the same time, you know, Chelsea won. Uh, an FA Cup maybe since the first bid, they certainly won the Europa League since other bids. So they might think, all right, we got our, some of our money's worth in keeping Willian, who was an, an important player along the way. So Chelsea need to buy new wingers. Sure, you could say, right, the starting wingers moving forwards are going to be Christian Pulisic and Callum Hudson-Odoi moving forwards. Certainly they're both talented young players that can offer the club a lot, but Chelsea are going to need a bit more of a banker for the moment. Someone maybe a bit older like Hakim Ziyech, or maybe someone that has just such a proven offensive output and productivity like Jadon Sancho. I think if Chelsea secure top four, there is a good, strong chance they will buy Jadon Sancho. I genuinely believe that. The money will be reinvested. Frank Lampard has been asked at times you know, the Eden Hazard money's still there, isn't it? He's like, yes. <laughs> so I think he's like, yeah, the money's there. I want it to be spent. He probably appreciates that money is difficult to spend in the January transfer window, but you can bet your bottom dollar that come the summer transfer window, Pedro goes out the door, William goes out the door, 
Chelsea, Frank Lampard, Chelsea fans will all be expecting the board to fork out big time for some top tier wingers with high offensive productivity, either in the shape of Hakim Ziyech or Jadon Sancho, or who knows, both? I mean, the money should be there just about. I mean, four wingers, Sancho, hudson Adoy, Pulisic and Ziyech. That would be a super, I mean, you, if, you generally need four wingers, right? They would all be superb. And maybe, I know people don't want to hear it, right? But maybe you do bring in Ziyech and Zaha. Zaha will probably be even cheaper by then and the move will be easier to execute. You know, two good, really good wingers. It could happen, still, we'll have to see. Anyway, I'm interested in getting your guys thoughts and opinions on the Willian matter. What do you think? Sad to see him go on a free? Great servant for Chelsea regardless, but will Chelsea be frustrated that they didn't sell him earlier and get some money for him? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section and who you think Chelsea will actually end up buying in the summer. And if you've enjoyed the content today guys, please do like the video. Remember to subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Football Yannick. That's it from me, guys. You lot enjoy the football, and I will see you later. Way so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.